Hey everyone, welcome back to Fish Hunt Northwest. We're here in the kitchen with Chef Kelly for the recipe of the week. And okay, it's venison. Yes, yes. we're gonna make the greatest stew ever created, tagine. It's a Moroccan. Tagine? Tagine? No, yes. no, tagine. Yes. It's a Moroccan dish, <laughs> and we're gonna be using venison instead of lamb. Usually we use lamb shoulder, but we're gonna use venison. And uh, it's gonna be awesome because this is, you'll see the spices that we use, and this is the reason why I consider this one of the greatest uh, stews ever created. Ever. 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 Okay, so we have our venison, and I cleaned it up, a lot of the, the silver skin out of it, and okay. uh, there you go. Uh, okay, so we're gonna season it really super heavy with some pepper. And more, and more. Mm-hmm. Your arm tired? I want to be like I put this on a drill one time, you know? Just... <laughs> All right. Uh, a little bit of kosher salt. Okay. Okay. Those. Tie your way. Okay. Uh -huh. Then we're going to have some turmeric, about a tablespoon of turmeric. Be careful with that. It will stain everything. I know it. Chef. Uh, and then... Uh, <laughs> This is the signature spices for it. It's called Ras El Hanout. Yeah, say that one. Ras El. <laughs> Ras like the store? No. Yeah, Ross. sure. Ras El Hanout. El Hanout. Yeah. It's, uh, I'll, I'll make a list of all the spices in it, but it's easier just to buy the spice already pre-mixed. Uh, it's a uh, Moroccan spice. So oh, it has okay. a lot of sweet spices, oh, you know, like uh, clove and cinnamon and allspice. Also has cayenne and coriander seeds. It's just it's so much stuff. I don't think stuff. I'd ever think of cinnamon in this. I know, and I'm, we're going to add extra cinnamon too. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to add about a tablespoon and a half of this. Okay, you can see it's coated really heavy. Yeah. Let's get it all mixed up. There we go. I think I will grab you a paper towel. Sorry, messy chef. No, I'm saying for your hands. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, so we got our uh, our pan nice and hot already. Good amount of oil in there. We're gonna add our spiced up venison. Okay. Okay. Do you just brown it or? Yeah, we're just browning it here. Okay. What'd you get in there? I need a white tail hair. Yeah. <laughs> Who the hell cleaned this thing? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't know who got this one. Okay, so we're not gonna flip it too much. We're trying to get a nice good brown color on it. So let that roll. Okay. Okay, so we already have our turmeric in there. And this is also what makes it unique is it also has dried apricots, whole almonds, honey, ginger, uh, cilantro, chickpeas. These are actually carrots. These are those, you know, heirloom style carrots. So what happened to just orange carrots? Well, they just wanted to pick one color. So they, they came up with that. Oh. Uh, but carrots originally came in all different kinds of colors. And uh, uh, yeah, they just picked orange. Cause I guess it was unique. Cause I mean, what else is orange? Besides, yeah. <laughs> besides an orange. Oh, geez, yes. Okay, so you can see I'm getting some fantastic color here. So all of that is inside that one spice. Yeah, rasa hanu. Did you say saffron too? Uh, we're gonna add that a little later once we okay. get our liquids in. And so we're just about there. We got a nice, good crust on there. Excuse me. Yes. Okay. Now I could just eat that. You could. Yeah. You absolutely could. But first we're going to saute some onions in there. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. Is that we got about stuff one on. whole onion or? Uh, yeah, that's about one small onion diced. Okay. Okay, and that was about a pound, a little over a pound of venison. Okay. Okay. And yeah, we're gonna saute these onions just a little bit. You see how that turmeric already gives it kind of a bright, vibrant yellow. Oh yeah, that looks color. great. And then the saffron's gonna take it right over the top. 
Okay, so then we're gonna add about a tablespoon of ginger. Okay. About two tablespoons of garlic. Yeah, not too much ginger. Yeah, ginger spice, uh, real, real spicy and and uh, can really overpower. Okay, and then we can just add pretty much the rest. We got, uh, so I took some uh, three tomatoes, I dumped, I scored them on the bottom like an X, and then uh, dumped them in some boiling water for a minute, and then uh, peeled them, and then squeezed all the juice so that's peeled and seeded and uh, diced up. Okay. So there's three of them. Then I have about three of those carrots. It looks like one of each. Then we have our dried apricots and whole almonds. So those in there too. Wow. See, that's kind of crazy. It's like yeah. all these things are going in there. That you didn't really think of in a stew. Right. I'm throwing two cinnamon sticks in there. And it looks like a lot, but this is gonna, you know, cook down a lot. I'm gonna add one, two tablespoons of honey. Exact measurement. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. And then one big pinch of saffron. And then I'm gonna add it's about two cups of chicken stock. This morning I made some chicken stock. Oh, okay. Because you make your own Most chicken stock, bit, right? Yes, of course I do. Every mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. You didn't find mm -hmm. any uh, in a box in the cupboard. <laughs> That's why you had to make your own. That's right. Although you would have done it anyway. But. Okay. So as you can see, we've got all of our stuff in there. Wow. Just going to kind of wiggle that down. We're going to bring it up to a simmer. Is that going to take a little bit? Chef, yeah, or? it's going to take about 40 minutes. Just, you know, this is the thing that used to infuriate me is my, my old chefs at uh, pastry school used to say, oh, well, cook it till it's done. I'm like, that doesn't give me a time frame, okay? <laughs> but it's true, you know, and, yeah. you know it, I'm sorry, it's, it's true. Till it's done. Till it's done. Okay. So, yeah, we got a little cook time. All right. Well, then I guess why we simmer that and reduce it. Yes. Correct mm -hmm. terminology. We'll go ahead and throw it back to you guys in the studio. Welcome back to the kitchen. We're here with Chef Kelly. Uh, I can touch you if I want to. And we, <laughs> okay, we've been cracking up during the whole break, and now we got to get serious here, Chef. Oh, sorry. What were we working on? We are working on a venison tagine. Okay, this is my self-proclaimed best stew of all time. Best. Best. Look at the colors. Isn't that cool? Kind of yellow. It is. It's beautiful. That's from the saffron and all the uh, turmeric in it. Okay. Okay. So, when you're reducing this down, you know, uh, you know this this uh, venison just kind of falls apart. That's perfect, wow. right? Uh, so that's what we're looking for, and we're kind of reduced our liquid down a little bit, and uh, so the flavor profile is you want to kind of toe the line of a little bit sweet, a little bit salty, and so uh, that's what you're looking for in this. Okay. okay. So uh, we kept our chickpeas out because they're already cooked. We should add like um or another half. name for them is garbanzo beans. Garbanzo beans. Mm-hmm. So, um, <laughs> which I don't like to cook the heck out of them because then they kind of start to fall apart. And, oh, but, so you just um, put them in there after, and it just heats up with the yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And remember that you have the cinnamon sticks in there. Don't bite into those. No, don't do that. Okay. And the other thing that needs to be in there is a little bit of. Uh, cilantro. All right. Okay. Nice, beautiful green colors in there. Maybe we'll pull that stem up. All right. So is that parsley? Yes, yeah, parsley and cilantro. Okay. And a little more parsley. Okay. Okay. All right. So over here we have some couscous. 
Uh, couscous is extremely easy. It should be a, a starch that's on your radar if you uh, want to try something a little bit different. Uh, couscous basically, when you would make this, uh, a lot of Northern Eastern uh, uh, stews are made by what they do is they have a pot and then they have in a strainer your couscous and they let it steam and so it's catching that and that's how it is. Oh, okay. Okay. Way that normal Americans would cook it is just one part couscous, one part of boiling liquid. Could be water, could be stock, and add a little butter, a little bit of salt, some pepper, and there you go. And okay. couscous. Couscous. And just let it steep for about five, seven, eight minutes, and boom, you have couscous. Okay. Look at that. Yeah, easy, easy. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Hey. You hey. didn't get with the program. <laughs> okay, look at all those goodies in there carrots and venison and chickpea or garbanzo beans. <laughs> hey, I'm you? just going by what most people know them as. Well, everywhere else in the world, people know them as chickpeas. Then and here on Summit Lake. <laughs> 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 well, I'll say this, that, uh, you know, like uh, uh, soccer. Soccer around the world is known as, as football, football. Yeah. you know, but uh, you get to here, it's like, oh no, we have American football. It's like, okay, well, it's just different, you know? Yep. So look at all those goodies in there. You got apricots, I see the almonds in there, all that good stuff. We're gonna add a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil okay. on top here. Wow. Looking beautiful. Yes, it is. A little bit of extra herbs on top. Okay, and the last thing, is we're going to talk about harissa. Harissa is a uh, a spice blend. It's a like a hot sauce of sorts, but usually it's kind of a you know a paste kind of a texture like this. I want to put a little bit on top. Just the color pop is just too much for me. Uh, wow. Yeah, it's made with uh, baklodi peppers, and you're going to have to look it up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, caraway <laughs> seeds, harissa. And garlic, harissa. Harissa. Yeah. Um, harissa. Harissa. Caraway seeds, coriander seeds, garlic. It's good stuff, but I tell you the truth, I have actually never made harissa, but it's delicious. I know. One thing I'm going to have to actually start making my own. So there you go, guys. Awesome. Uh, Moroccan stew. This is called tagine. Try it. Uh, I, you know, you can substitute anything. You can do mousse. Moose? Yeah, moose. moose. if you're lucky enough. Yeah, right. We had some moose before. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess while we dig into this one, we will go ahead and throw it to you guys back in the studio.